Hello, my name is Mr Maths and today we'll be multiplying and dividing fractions. You get to hear me now. If you get to hear me now. So let's start with multiplying fractions. So let's find a problem here. We have three quarters multiplied by two sixths equals. Now multiplying fractions is a very, very simple thing to do. And it's always handy to know your times tables for all maths, but especially for this. And what we do is we multiply the numerators, which are the top numbers, together. Two times three is six. And we multiply the denominators together. So four times six is 24. Then after that, we would simplify the fraction. And I advise you to check out my simplifying fractions video to learn the process of doing this. Let's try another one. Four fifths multiplied by nine tenths. Okay, once again we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So four times nine is, if we know our times tables, we get two nines or 18, so that'd be 36. 36, and we multiply the denominators. Five times 10, 50. Once again, we'd simplify this fraction down. So that's multiplication of fractions. Now we're gonna go on to division of fractions. Okay, so here's our first problem. One third divided by two fifths equals. Now, division of fractions is very similar to multiplication of fractions. Now, if we know our inverse relations, we know that the inverse of division is multiplication, and we can use that knowledge to solve this problem. What we do is we switch this second fraction over. We switch the denominator with the numerator. This is called finding the reciprocal. So we put the five on the top and the two on the bottom. Okay, and now because it's the inverse, we remove the division and we put the multiplication in. And then we solve this problem like a multiplication problem. 1 times 5 and 3 times 2 or 2 times 3 is 6 and there we have the answer 1 third divided by 2 fifths equal 5 sixths let's do another one Two thirds divided by three sevenths equals. Now, just just the same with the last fractions, we swap the denominator and the numerator over, or find its reciprocal, as it's called. The seven here and the three here and then we change this to a multiply and we then complete this problem two times seven is fourteen three times three is nine now what we've got here is a top heavy fraction so what we have to do then is reduce this fraction down. 
So we find out how many nines can we get out of 14. We can get one nine with a remainder of five. So our answer will be one whole and five ninths. So two thirds divided by three sevenths equals one and five ninths. I've been Mr. Maths and I'll see you later.